I got one good question for you. Would you like to learn how to build your Experian credit score to a 750 in the next 60 days? The answer is probably yes. And you know me, I got you. I wish I got to do it step by step by step. So with that being said, you already know what time it is. Let's go. What's up, family? I'm about with another one. Hey, if you're new to the channel, Welcome to the family. So in today's class, we're going to be talking about how to properly build our experience credit score to a 750 in the next 60 days so we can get funded because, you know, TransUnion Equifax is not might be tripping right now. So we're going to talk about how to build the experience credit score so we can get that money. So that being said, go grab a pen, go get some paper, and you know what you got to do. You got to get you something to drink. Woo! Hey, this is going to be a good one. Lesson. So first things first, right? I got to build a relationship, bulletproof structure. 750 game plan and you already know me got to have a little bonus right so first thing what you want to do right to go ahead and get that 750 plus credit score there's some things you want to do first and i want you to first what i want you to do is build a relationship now i want you to build a relationship with two banks um and the reason why i want you to build a relationship so once you um once you have the 750 credit score then you want to go ahead and apply because it's going to be easy to get um access to the money um once you got approved so first thing you want to do is build a relationship with the local credit union and i can't explain this enough right the local credit union has access to give you um instant approval on spot um within like 30 like like instant approval on spot once they check your credit so your credit should be already properly built in 60 to 90 like 60 days right you should already have Things reported to your credit report because your credit, your experience credit score is like you don't have like no negative things that's hurting you. So, and if you do have negative things that's hurting your credit score, you already know we have videos showing you how to do that. So, build a relationship with the um, local credit union. Now, after you build a relationship with the local credit union, and um, you want to also go to this bank as well. So, we're going to go to because it's just experience that they pull in. We want to um, build a relationship with Chase, right? You want to open up a, a Chase account or Depending on what area you're, what area you in, um, do PNC. Uh, PNC is another place that just only pulls Experian. So, local credit union, Chase, and then um, PNC. Three banks you want to build a relationship. Now, we're not applying. We just open up a savings and a checking account with these. Um, you can open up just a savings account with a local credit union, and then Chase and um, PNC. Um, you got to open up a checking account. So we just create that relationship first. Now, what we want to do next is build, um, we want to build a structure, we want to structure our credit report um, so we can go ahead and get instant approvals. So the way you properly structure your credit report to get instant approvals is by adding some accounts on your credit report. Now, you might already have some accounts or you probably don't have accounts at all. You probably don't, you just, just lost, right? So first thing you want to do is make sure you have a mix of accounts. Now, you want to have revolving accounts. You want to have, um, I'm sorry. You want to have revolving accounts and then you want to have um, installment accounts. Now the installment accounts, um, you want to have two, you want to get two accounts, two accounts that's a revolving on your credit report. Now, if you don't revolve in our line of credit, um, credit cards, charge cards, those are your revolving accounts. And then you have installment accounts. Um, most of the time, most people have um, installment accounts already is a car loan, a personal loan, of course, your mortgage. And then, um, yeah, those are, your, those are your installment accounts. Those are going to send you your installment accounts, right? Student loans as well, right? So most people already have student loans on their credit report. So this is how you build a, a, a bulletproof structure. Your credit. I mean, this is how you structure your credit report so you can get instant approvals. Now, the reason why you're going to get instant approval is because you already have positive accounts reported, and then you added some more positive accounts to your credit report. And then another thing you should do is add an authorized user if you can, right? Now, this is just to help the history, right? If you don't have history on your credit report. Now, you should already have some history, but adding the AU if possible, uh, especially one of your, uh, like a brother, sister, uh, mom or dad, and add them will get added to their um, credit or their credit card because that is going to report to your credit report. And once you get all that age, it's going to help. But just make sure that the 
utilization and the um, payment history. They don't have no missed payments utilization is under 10%, right? Um, so you can go ahead and then you'll have, whew, your credit score is going to jump dramatically. Now, the game plan, right? A 750 game plan. Now, after you have it, like everything is reporting, everything's looking good, the next thing you want to do is um, start an LLC. And the reason why you want to start an LLC is because we're not going to be, we're going to, of course, pull our credit. I mean, we're going to, of course, get personal credit cards. But what we really want to get is business credit cards, right? And even though that you might not have a business, you still want to have the funding available because what happens is business don't report to personal. So what you want to do is now um, properly structure up a business. So now you have business credit cards. So if anything ever happens, like let's say, um, you had the business credit card and something happened and you need to use the line of credit. Now it's not going to, uh, major, it's not going to affect your personal credit because now you use the business credit card. So the business credit cards I will tell you to get is, um, the Amax, um, oops, uh, Amax card, Amax business credit card, and then, um, as well as, um, a PNC business credit card. Now, after you get that, uh, you start your LLC, you properly structure it, you get your AMAX business credit card, you apply for the PNC business credit card. Now, there are also, um, of course, there's other things you can apply for, but this is just a, a quick game plan on what you can do with your experience credit score once you properly build it out correct. Now, we have a bonus, right? Bonus is for the bonus play. Hey, me and Mike is hosting a free workshop, and we're going to basically show you how you can make money every single day. Night in and night out, right? We're gonna show you how to make bread. So make sure you sign up for the all class. The link is in the description. Make sure you register, and we're gonna see you in tomorrow's class, right? It's gonna be at 8 p.m. And just remember, if your credit score is holding you back, remember you just one deletion away to get into your ultimate credit score. So you can get that house, you can get that car, you can get funded for your business, whatever you're trying to get. You just one deletion away. All right, I'll see you in the next class.